Okay, because I mean, I, I guess that that comes up to to the next question, and I know we we are going quite deep into time. So, Kiari, if you've got any other questions, yeah, we'll we'll wrap this up soon. But but this is this is a question that I've been thinking about recently with the whole rise of um, automation and just say the actual profession. Um, do you think the actual profession, like the qualification, you know, getting this fellowship level, does that still carry as much weight as it did in the past? Or are actuarial students better off as soon as they got an actuarial degree, instead of chasing the specialist subjects, to rather go and learn automation and learn how to actually control and guide these machines? Like, is that going to give them a better career path? Or is there still a lot of weight in getting this fellowship uh, designation? I'm going to take probably the controversial position and say that it is not as influential as it used to be. It's definitely, I believe, losing a little bit of its power. The actually being a qualified actuary with whichever organization you're with. Um, I do find that practical experience and understanding way beyond what you would learn in, in those subjects is extremely valuable. And I was having a conversation with someone the other day where they said, look, I have been kind of trying to decide between doing a specific degree. Now, this wasn't actuarial science. It was more around software development. Doing the degree and paying a lot of money in dollar terms for this degree. Or do I want to go and download the syllabus, which I can, and go and study this myself online? Because all of this material is available online. Which of these two roads do I want to follow? And I think it comes down to what you plan to do with it as well. There are still a lot of insurance companies, most of them, of course, who put stock in the fact that you've got an actuarial degree. Um, but at the same time, maybe you're planning on starting your own business after you've got a certain amount of experience like Kiara might do. And in that case, getting the experience and understand, having a proper understanding rather than the book knowledge is so much more important. So my view is, look, if you've got the time and you've got the drive and you like to complete things and you want to say, tick box, I've actually have my actuarial degree now or I am a qualified actuary, then that's brilliant, then go for it. But there's a lot more to being an actuary than just having the degree behind your name. So it's a decision that you have to make. Do you want to pursue that expensive degree or do you want to, to go a different path? Okay. Because, I mean, yeah, I mean, I went the, the fellowship route. And, I mean, there was I, – I, I was a little bit surprised how the actual fellowship in finance, people weren't that interested in, in that. They were more interested in the fact that I got the SERA qualification, which mm -hmm. is for, you know, one of the special subjects. And the fellowship one hasn't paid off uh, fruit yet. Look, I know I did study the one to, you know, financial uh, institutions help them with the investment strategy. And I do know that I'm a bit young, you know, at, at 27, it's a bit strange if I go into like say a massive pension fund and say, hey guys, you need to buy more bonds. You know, I think I need to get a little bit more experience before that my, you know, my advice carries a little bit more weight to it. But I know um, just talking to Kiara, she, you know, her whole decision to look more towards data science uh, rather than completing the whole actuarial uh, you know, qualification is something that is appealing to to a few more people as we've been going down that road. So, Kiara, I don't know if you want to talk a little bit more about your decision. Um, are you are you wanting to qualify like as a fellow actuary, or are you happy to get the actuarial backbone as a degree and then pursue data science and and other things? Um, well, looking at the exams, I think that of course they do hold a lot of credibility. And they do teach you a lot of things that um, you don't necessarily like learn on a day-to-day basis. Because I know a lot of people who are, are in careers and who already have jobs find the exams very difficult still. So it's not like you're working with these things on an ongoing basis and you're constantly exposed to them. So I definitely think the exams are amazing in the sense that they teach you to think a completely different way and bring about new solutions. So if possible I'd like to carry on with my exams um, I wrote in April and I'm hoping to write one in September um, but I definitely do think there's a way to I haven't quite figured it out yet but I do think there's a way to do both so I think there's a way to have that technical background but apply it with the data science 